friends, I'm back with another video and here I am introducing Indian Accounting Standard or INDES. Topics to be covered Introduction of Indian Accounting Standard Objectives of Indian Accounting Standard Benefits of adopting Indian Accounting Standards Services provided as per Indian Accounting Standard Key Transformation Factor List of Applicable Indias Indian Accounting Standard Abbreviated as INDAS Accounting Standards have been developed in India over time. It is also called INDAS that is INDAS. Such standards need to be adopted by various corporate firm and MBFCs in India under the supervision of the Accounting Standards Board ASB. The Accounting Standard Board was established in 1977 as a regulator and body. ASB is a professional and autonomous body managed by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India ICAI. Apart from this, there are other bodies such as Confederation of Indian Industry CII, Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry FICCI, and Associated Chambers of Commerce and Industry of India ASSOCHAM, which regulate ASB. Individuals, professionals, and academics from the previously mentioned bodies acquire different standards with regard to accounting. Indian accounting standards were developed to harmonize standards related to international accounting and reporting. International accounting standards comply with international financial reporting standards IFRS. The Indian government body that recommends this standard to the Department of Corporate Affairs is the National Advisory Committee on Accounting Standards NACAS. What are the objectives of Indian Accounting Standards? Following are the objectives of applying Indian Accounting Standards. Ensure companies in India adopt these standards to implement internationally recognized best practices. Ensure that compliance is maintained worldwide. Have a single framework for a single accounting system. The standard was developed in accordance with IFRS principles. Therefore, it serves as a guide for the implementation of the standard. Accounting systems used in India can be analyzed and understood by global companies. This will make the annual financial statements and company accounts transparent. These standards are harmonized to ensure that companies comply with global requirements. A wider scope is acceptable through this Indian accounting standard. As Indian companies have expanded their global scope as compared to the past. Applicability of Indian Accounting Standard The Government of India and the Department of Corporate Affairs have announced the recognition and adoption of Indian Accounting Standards by all companies in India. The Indian Accounting Standards in is as notified under Section 133 of the Companies Act 2013 have been formulated keeping the Indian economic and legal environment in view and with a view to converge with IFRS standards as issued by and copyright of which is held by the IFRS Foundation. All companies that receive this notification will be required to receive Indian Accounting Standard in stages during the 2016-17 fiscal year since its adoption. There have been three notification changes in 2016, 2017 and 2018.
बेनिफिट्स ऑफ अडॉप्टिंग इंडियन अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स अडॉप्टिंग इंडियन अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स कम्स विद सेवरल एडवांटेजेस हार्मोनाइजेशन बाय अडॉप्टिंग दीज स्टैंडर्ड्स कंपनीज कैन हार्मोनाइज अकाउंटिंग रूल्स ग्लोबल अकाउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल्स कैन बी बिल्ड थ्रू हार्मोनाइजेशन इंटरनेशनल बेस दीज आर इंटरनेशनली रिकॉग्नाइज अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स सो वेन अ कंपनी वॉन्ट्स टू एक्सपैंड इंटरनेशनली सच प्रिंसिपल्स आर अडॉप्टेड ग्लोबल एक्सेप्टेंस द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ दीज स्टैंडर्ड्स गारंटीज इंटरनेशनल रिकॉग्निशन ऑफ ऑल गवर्नमेंट इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड एजेंसीज कंप्लायंस बाई अडॉप्टिंग दीज स्टैंडर्ड्स कंपनीज कैन इंश्योर इफेक्टिव कंप्लायंस Indian accounting standards apply to subsidiaries or associate companies. If accounting standards are adopted by Indian companies, it will apply to all forms of subsidiary that is sister, parent and associate companies. Either form of individual qualification is not possible for this type of company. This means that the INDAs can be applied automatically if a company is controlled by a foreign company the accounting principle should be viewed as a separate basis in an accounting standard application is not required for these companies the services provided according to indian accounting standards business advisory services related to specific implementation of ifrs and indas example mergers consolidations financial instruments hedged accounting revenue recognition and leases planning execution and transformation of indian accounting standards facilitate the transition to the new indian accounting standards assistance in analyzing the differences between gap and indian accounting standards assistance in determining new policies and procedures to be implemented according to indian accounting standards staff training on indian accounting standard concepts and requirements support in the preparation of annual financial reports in accordance with indian accounting standard help in determining new policies as well as procedures to be implemented as per indas indian accounting standards key factors for transformation there are various significant and key factors that we need to consider when indian companies adopt the above standards activities managed by the organization identify and analyze various tax consequences resulting from the application of these standards redefinition and revision of annual financial statements to ensure compliance with standards identify and review issues related to accounting standards revision of contracts and conclusion of negotiations carried out by various parties preparation of financial statements annually in accordance with the requirements of indian accounting standards below is the list of applicable indian accounting standard in as1 applied in presentation of financial statements in as2 applied in inventories accounting indas7 applied in statement of cash flows INDAS 8 applied in accounting policies changes in accounting state estimates and errors INDAS 10 applied in events after reporting period INDAS 11 applied in construction contracts INDAS 12 is for income taxes INDAS 16 is for property plant and equipment INDAS 17 is for leases and 18 is for revenue. 
INDAS 19 is for employee benefits. INDAS 20 is applied for accounting for government grants and disclosure of government assistance. INDAS 21 is for the effects of changes in foreign exchange rates. INDAS 23 is for borrowing costs. INDAS 24 is applied in related party disclosures. INDAS 27 is applied in separate financial statements. INDAS 28 is for investment in associates and joint ventures. INDAS 29 is for financial reporting, hyperinflationary economies. INDAS 32 is for financial instruments presentation. INDAS 33 applied in earnings per share. INDAS 34 is for interim financial reporting. INDAS 36 is for impairment of assets. INDAS 37 is for provisions, contingent liabilities and contingent assets. INDAS 38 is for intangible assets. 40 is for investment property. INDAS 41 is for agriculture. INDAS 101 is for first time adoption of INDAS. INDAS 102 is applied in share based payments. INDAS 103 is applied in business combination. INDAS 104 is for insurance contracts. INDAS 105 applied in non-current assets held for sale and discontinued operations. INDAS 106 is for exploration for and evaluation of mineral resources. INDAS 107 applied in financial instruments that is disclosures. INDAS 108 is applied in operating segments. INDAS 109 is applied in financial instruments. INDAS 110 is consolidated financial statements. INDAS 101 is for joint arrangements. INDAS 112 applied in disclosure of interest in other entities. INDAS 113 is for fair value measurement. INDAS 114 applied in regulatory deferral accounts and INDAS 115 applied in revenue from contracts and customers. The adoption of Indian accounting standards has improved the comparability of financial information of Indian companies worldwide. However, Indian accounting standard involves the application of several new and complex concepts. This requires a high level of assessment and evaluation accompanied by detailed qualitative and quantitative information according to Indian accounting standard. That's all for this video. Your feedback will be highly appreciated and will help us to improve the content. Join us in the next video to know about reporting standards. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for latest updates.